United States, a woman suffers a heart attack every 60 seconds. Minorities are most at risk for heart disease, and they are the least aware of heart attack symptoms. And here's a scary fact. Only half of the women questioned said that they would call 911 for themselves. Please listen to this. Heart disease is the number one killer of women and men in the United States. Women do not fare as well after suffering a heart attack. Linda Mays shows us how to better identify signs of a heart attack and what we can do to prevent heart disease. Doctors say women are more likely than men to put off seeking treatment for a heart attack. The reason? They don't believe they're having one. They usually have discomfort that doesn't seem like the heart. It seems more like arthritis or indigestion, and so they just play it off as that. One of the, one of the clear signs is if it occurs with exertion. So if you're walking or walking up steps, carrying things, and you start noticing you have to stop and catch your breath, it may not be chest discomfort, it may just be shortness of breath. Women don't survive heart attacks as often as men, partly because, as doctors find, women are not familiar with all the warning symptoms of a heart attack. Most of the women that we're seeing who come in with heart attacks say, well, this has been going on for weeks and weeks, and I just thought it was something else. And so by the time they get here, they've damaged their heart. One major goal now is to urge younger women, too, to actively fight cardiovascular disease. I think if I was to choose one thing, it would be exercise. The thing about exercise is it reduces your weight, which reduces your risk for diabetes. It reduces your blood pressure. It reduces your heart rate. It reduces your cholesterol. It helps with bones and joints. For here. Yes, for okay. here. 33 year old Christy Stewart has fought off one of the culprits of heart disease and is working hard to beat down another one. Went into the doctor. Um, my blood sugar was way over 200. He wanted to put me on insulin. I asked him for another chance. Christy wanted her doctor to give her six months. The only reason why I usually get the, tur the club sandwich because I know the turkey is lean, low in fat, especially with the wheat bread. She chooses to eat healthy, cut calories, and routinely do a variety of exercises. In six months, Christy lost about 65 pounds and has avoided taking insulin. I still have a good little ways to go, but I was almost in a size 26, and now I'm in a size 16. You said you're familiar with the heart palpitations. Yes, I am. Um, weight loss and eating right and exercising every day has saved my life entirely. 20 minutes of exercise three times a week may outperform medicines when it comes to surviving a heart attack. That's according to cardiologist Robert Foster. He urges women to exercise, get screened, and watch out for signs that clearly indicate you need to get your heart checked. Dr. Foster says one of the best ways to tell if you have blockage in your system at all is to ask your doctor to perform what's called an AVI, and that's testing your blood pressure in your arms as well as your ankles. It's both arms too, right? But, that's right, both arms and both ankles. I heard fact. you say that the other day. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about uh, quickly some of the uh, things that can increase your chance of cardiovascular disease. There's a long list of things. Sure. However, I want to point out three specific uh, risk factors, cigarette smoking, metabolic syndrome, and also a family history of premature heart disease. Mm -hmm. Metabolic syndrome is a constellation of conditions, including abdominal obesity, say mm -hmm. your waistline uh, greater than 35, high triglycerides, low good cholesterol, also your blood pressure greater than 130 over 85, and a fasting glucose of greater than 100, so blood sugar level greater than 100. These, these are not things to ignore, and tomorrow is a great day to learn a little bit more about this. It is. Tomorrow is Go Red Day. Now, that third one family history, yeah. That's with uh, a premature heart disease in the immediate family or first degree family. That's okay. in a, a, a male relative younger than 55 and a female relative younger than 65. All right, good stuff. And tomorrow's Go Red. We'll all be in red. Yes. We'll have more in a moment.